Okay, here we are. I'm just uh, filming. Just uh, here's the supplies I'm going to try to attempt to use. Uh, I've got the uh, eight cans, and these are the uh, 40 ounce cans of the Chef Barardi beef ravioli. Uh, I saw when I was at the store they also had mini ravioli. You could use that too. I suppose it's the same size can. And then one big roll of uh, Gorilla Tape. And I found that this tape works really well. So I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Go ahead and start opening these cans. I'll empty them all out and then uh, prep them a little bit before I show you the next clip. I'll show you the difference in the cans. Okay, the bottom can uh, took a little bit of work to get the ravioli out of these little holes, but basically what you see here is I've got eight of these puncture marks by a, uh, an old bo old time bottle cap opener or you know the remover, and then I also have um, on the other side of this can I have one small hole in it. That's about uh, about an eighth of an inch in diameter. And basically, uh, clean this can out. There's a, just a little bit of adhesive on this the seam here from the old label, but uh, you can see the can is empty. I've got about eight of those puncture marks in it, <coughs> and then that, that little hole on the bottom. Okay, all the rest of the cans are going to be completely empty, and I use this one as an example. I just uh, I left the bottom bottom panel in while I washed it just to make so I wouldn't crush it um, and then now I'm gonna go through this is the same kind of thing this one's slightly dented I found this at the store and it was slightly dented. I'm gonna use this as my end can one to the very end um, but if you look inside the only thing left is the bottom right and I'm gonna pull that I'm gonna take all the cans that I have um, and just pull the bottoms out so it's just basically a tube with nothing on either end and I just wanted to show you this is what I'm working with right now uh, so you got the, this is the very bottom can, all the rest of the cans are going to look like this except they're going to have that bottom removed. Okay, that's just a in process step. Okay, here's a video, I'll show you a comparison of the two cannons. This, the one on the left is your original cannon. Uh, we had a small video clip of that before. And the one on the right is a much larger cannon, about 50% longer, two and a half times the volume. We're going to try to light that one off and see how that one works. You can see that there's quite a bit of difference between the two cannons. Um, Shake it up. What we're trying to do is disperse that lighter fluid all along the bottom can. We want that to just all be vapor in there and not liquid. That might take a while. I might have to mix it up a little bit. But I'd like to shake it some. That's okay. Just want to make sure there's no liquid left. So we can get that whole bottom can off. And we'll try lighting it and see what happens. That worked pretty well. <laughs> pretty good for a first time. Okay, so here's the cannon. Uh, just uh, started up the video again. We're gonna go ahead and launch it. Uh, we got one, uh, the first, very first uh, launch out of it, and um, I decided to redo the video. But uh, you can see it's a pretty good size. Here's my hand. Here's the cans. These are all the ravioli cans. Still got a little bit of the lighter fluid vapor inside. I can smell it. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, reload. We've got a bottle of lighter fluid. Pop this open. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit in there just because we got some vapor left over from the last time. Put that down here and then shake this up. Try to disperse all this lighter fluid inside the can so that it turns into vapor, not liquid anymore. Shake this up really good. Okay, we'll try to light it and see what it does. I've got this, uh, make sure you don't use matches. There you go. Scared all the birds out of the tree. <laughs> 